Welcome once again. Topic natin still tension members, specifically effective net area. Okay, before we begin the sample problem, I would like to show you yung mga values for reduction ng coefficient. So we will call that U, capital U, no? So there are several cases. Uh, pick up lang tayo na pag-aralan natin. Ang pagkakaiba ng area effective sa area net, yung area net is that you just uh, reduce o minus mo lang yung mga diameter ng hole, yung butas. Pero, ibig sabihin nun, ang concern natin that lahat ng element ay nakakabit o nakakonect uh, sa isang part ng structure. Okay? So, yung effective naman is not all cross-sectional area, cross-section ng structure, structural element ay nakakonect. Okay. So, balikan nyo po yung uh, previous lesson natin para maintindihan yung sinasabi ko rito. Alright. So, sa case 1, nakalagay dito, all tension members where the tension load is transmitted directly to each of the cross-sectional element by fastener or weld. Ayun yung sinasabi ko kanina. So, yung tension member uh, is transmitted directly to each of the cross-sectional element. So, halimbawa, yung sample ko previously, yung channel, uh, dapat yung flange, pati yung web, connected. Okay? So, merong, it's either fastened or welded. Fastened means bolted, no? Okay? So, automatic yan, wala siyang uh, reduction coefficient or shear lag. Okay? So, automatic, U is 1. So, meaning to say, uh, ibig sabihin nun, uh, area effective is equal to area net. Okay? Next, ito medyo mabahaba. Uh, yung number 2, all tension members, all except plates, HSS, hindi natin ito i-discuss no? kasi bihirang-bihira itong ginagamit. Where the tension load is transmitted to some, but not all of the cross-sectional elements by fastener or longitudinal welds. Ito yung sinasabi ko. So, ibig sabihin, katulad neto, uh, itong letter A na to, no? Focus tayo sa A. Angle bar connected sa gusset plate. This is a gusset plate. So, itong part na to na angle bar, hindi na connect sa gasset plate. So, hindi siya completely fastened or welded sa gasset. So, meron siyang uh, ineffective na connection. So, dito lang siya na-connect. So, yan yung ibig sabihin na all tension members where tension load is transmitted to some but not all. So, kasi dito hindi siya connected. Okay. So, kukumpitin lang natin ito, bar X. Actually, given yan eh, kukunin mo lang yan sa handbook manual. Ganun din dito. So, letter B. Ito naman is a white flange or sometimes called W shape. No? W shape. So, kung titignan naman natin itong uh, white flange, yung connection lang niya nasa web. Nakakonect lang siya dito. This is either plate then or angle bar. No? Usually, plate yan or angle bar. So, kung papansinin natin, yung flange hindi na connect. So, again, hindi siya effective lahat. No? So, kukunin natin yung shear lag or yung mu. Ang equation is 1 minus bar x over L. Yung L, uh, discuss natin later. Yan yung length ng connection eh. So, ganun din sa letter C. Sa letter C naman, anong papansinin nyo? Yung white flange or yung W shape is nakakonect lang dito sa flanges. Hindi siya nakakonect sa web. So, again, not transmitted to all. Okay? So, yun. Ganun lang naman. Eh. Titignan nyo lang kung all elements are connected. If not, then, meron siyang uh, reduction. Or sometimes called shear lag. Okay? So, dito naman sa D, kung papansin nyo, dalawang channel. Okay? Dalawang channel. Tapos, uh, gasset plate ulit to, nakakonect lang siya sa web. So, again, hindi siya connected, transmitted lahat. 
yung plunge. Nang channel, hindi na connect, no? So, therefore, again, meron uli siyang uh, reduction. So, ganun din dito. A is bolted. B is, this one is welded. So, next, uh, ito yung L na sinasabi natin, no? Sa bolted connection, ang length, ang length na ito is yung outside to outside bolt. Pero center to center yung distance. Okay? For example, pag hindi siya ganitong uh, connected, ganito, staggered, no, yung pinakamalayo sa isa't isa, yan yung length na kukunin mo. Okay? So, kung ang bar X mo millimeter, dapat length mo in millimeter. Kung bar X mo is inches or inch, dapat ang length mo is also inches. Okay? Again, the location or the distance ng L is from center to center, and the farthest from each other. Okay? So, ganito naman din sa uh, welding. Ang welding, ang length mo, yung total length lang. Okay? Yung length na ito, pag equal. Pag hindi siya equal, kukunin mo lang yung average. So, L1 plus L2 divided by 2 get the average. Hindi kasama ito, ha? Uh, o nga pala, this is called a longitudinal web and this is called transverse weld. Okay? Malinaw? So, Case 2, madalas natin gagamitin. Kasi nakalagay naman all tension members except for plates lang in HSS. Okay? So, ang reduction factor or reduction coefficient is equal to 1 minus bar X over L. Ito yung madalas natin gagamitin case 2. So, next, case 3. Yung case 3 naman, all tension members pa rin, where tension load is transmitted by transverse welds to some but not all of the cross-sectional element. So, ito yun. Huwag nyo pa, ah, ibig sabihin na ito, ah, transmitted by transverse weld. So, walang longitudinal weld dyan. So, nakita ko lang kasi ito, eh. Itong figure 2.4, no? Ah, kapag naka-weld sa transverse, transverse side only, take note, ah, huwag nyo pansinin ito, ah. Pag ang welding lang ng tension member ay sa transverse weld, walang longitudinal weld, then, it is automatic equal to 1. Okay? Equal to 1. So, all tension members. So, pero, bihira mangyari yan. Walang gumagawa niyan dito sa atin. Walang nag-welding ng transverse weld lang. Kasi, uh, pag, na pag nasa welded section na tayo, hindi advisable na ang welding lang transverse. I'll discuss that pag nandun na tayo sa welding. Okay? So, number 4. Ito naman. Number four, please take note, no? A highlight na to, plates lang, plates. Hindi siya all tension member. Plates where the tension load is transmitted by longitudinal welds only. Kanina, isa transverse weld. Ito, longitudinal. Ito yung longitudinal weld. So, wala siyang, tandaan nyo, wala siyang, plate siya at wala siyang transverse weld. So, in general, for plates, since a cross-section has only one element and it's connected, there's only, there is one example for welds plate. However, if the member is connected with longitudinal welds on each side with no transverse, again, with no transverse weld, it doesn't figure. Okay, uh, reduction is one. If the length of the weld is uh, greater than or equal to twice ng, ng width ng plate. Okay, so ito, if uh, 1.5 times the, uh, the width is less than or equal to L. So, ito rin yun, 0 .7, 0 0.87. This is very self-explanatory. Tapos yung isa, 0 0.75. Titignan nyo lang, kukumpitin nyo lang naman yung values ng length, tsaka, length ng weld tsaka ng width ng plate. Okay? So, ito medyo nagagamit. Next, yung 5 and 6, hindi ko na sinama kasi hindi ko ginagamit yun in actual practice, no? So, kung gusto nyo malaman, you read the book. Okay. So, yung, most, yung mga common lang na reduction coefficient lang din discuss ko. So, yung case 7 naman, ito madalas to kasi, yan. W shape, M shape, S shape, HP shape, or T scut from this shape. Okay. Please, ito, importante ito na highlight nito. If the reduction coefficient is calculated for case 2 and case 7, ito, 
the larger value is permitted to use. The larger value is permitted to use. So, alimbawa, case 2, 0.8, tapos case 7.7, anong gagamitin natin? Yung larger value, case 2 and 0.8. So, ito yung mga, so marami siyang klase, no? Yung unang-una, connected through the web with four or more fastener. Ibig sabihin ng four or more fastener, uh, in the direction of the loading. In the direction, ito yon, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ganun ang bilang. Ito yung direction ng loading, eh. di ba? Papunta sa kanan. So, ito yung direction ng loading. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, hindi, ang bilang yan, hindi walo. Kapat. So, kunyari, tatlo lang to. Tapos, tatlo lang dito. So, hindi siya pasok sa criteria. Okay? It should be four or more passenger connected sa web. And this should be double shape. Alright. Next is connected through the flange. Ito naman. Nak-flange naman siya na connect. Okay? Tapos nakalagay dito with three or more fastener. Katulad din ito. In the direction. Ito yung direction ng loading. To the right. So, ito yung direction ng loading. One, two, three, four. Pasok siya. Kasi three or more eh. Apat to eh. So, ito rin oh. Apat. Tapos, pero ang condition niya, it's either 0.9 or 0.85. Ito yun, no? If the width of the flange, BF, divided by the total depth, is greater than 2 thirds, then 0.9. If less than 2 thirds, then 0.85. Okay? So, yung BF, yung width ng flange, given uli yan sa properties ng, ng W shape. So, sa handbook manual, nandun lang yon. In our case, bibigay ko na lang, no? Okay? Uh, so, malino ba? Kapag, so, ang condition nito, ito tatlo. This one, connected sa web, tapat, and either criteria is, it should be more than four. Ito, one, two, three, four. This one, more than three, three or more. One, two, three, four. Kaya lang, again, meron pang isang condition. Oops, sorry. Uh, yung ratio ng BF sa depth, if it is greater than 2 thirds, then 0.9, less than 2 thirds, 0.85. Tanong pa paano kung equal, no? Equal sa 2 thirds. Wala nakalagay. So, ang gamitin na lang natin, ah, uh, Hindi ko alam, no? Pero kukunin ko na lang mas maliit para safe. Kasi wala na alagay dito, ito. Greater than, ito, less than. Walang equal, no? So, doon na lang tayo sa mas safe sa 0.85. Baka kasi may magtanong. Next, case 8. I think this is the last case. Single and double angle. Angle bar naman to. Angle bar. Okay? Again, pwede siya sa case 2. If it is larger... Uh, the larger value is permitted, no? Kung ano yung mas malaki, it's case 2. Ang mas malaki, use case 2. If case 8, ang mas malaki, use case 8. Okay. For angle bars, single or double, uh, it should be 2 or 3. No? 2 or 3 fastener in the direction of loading. Yan, yeah, again, yung direction of loading. So, 2 or 3. Automatic, 0.6. 4 or more, 10.8. Okay. So, may computation lang naman yung case 2 eh. It's 1 uh, minus bar x over L. Case 7, kukumpitin mo lang yung ratio. Okay? Clear ba tayo doon? Okay. So, walong case except di ko na sinama yung case 5 and 6. Okay. Alright. Sample problem tayo. Okay. So, problem number 1. Right? The question is, determine the effective net area for the tension member shown in this figure. Itong figure na ito, no? Uh, yan figure na yan. So, yung required, parang hindi ko makalimutan. Effective net area. So, titinan natin, Anong case kaya to? Is this case 1? Hindi. Kasi case 1, dapat connected all throughout. So, ito, hindi siya nakakonect. Diba? 
So again, tinan natin, angle bar. Uh, tapos, ilan yung bolt? Tatlo. So, let's see. Ito na tayo, tinan natin yung lecture natin. So, pasok siya dito, case 2. Di ba? Yung case 2, uh, angle bar din to, letter A, voltage siya dito, hindi siya voltage dito. So, alamin natin yung bar X. Okay? At pasok din siya sa case ano yan? Case 8. Uh, tatlong direction siya. So, 0.6. Di ba? So, check-in natin kung alin doon yung mag-govern. Okay. Balik tayo doon. Dito sa lecture. Okay. So, kailangan muna natin given, alamin yung properties. No? Yung properties uh, solution So, properties ng properties of angle bar 6 inches by 6 inches by 1 half. Okay, so ibig sabihin, define ko muna yung 6 inches by 6 inches by 1 half. Ah, uh, ito Lapis ata ito. Okay, so yung 6 inches na yan, ito yun. Sorry, tumabing it. Okay. So, 6 inches, sabi nga pa rin. 6 inches yan. I thought this is also... Six inches. Okay? Now, yung one half, yung thickness nyan. Yung one half. Here and here. Yan yung thickness. Okay? So, yun yung definition nyan. Okay? So, given yung thickness, yung length, given na rin. Okay? So, uh, ang kailangan natin, yung bar X. Yung bar X, so, lang, bar x this one based on the man manual it's 1.67 given na rin yan dito sa figure n yan yung 1.67 ok that is your bar x tapos yung length ito ilan 3 and 3 inches so total of uh, 6 inches so, again, case 2, ang nag-govern? That is here. Equal to 1 minus bar x over L. Ano yung bar x? It's 1.67 inch divided by 6 inches. Equal to... Kumpitin natin. I think it's 0.72. Okay? So, 0.72 yan. Check natin yung isa. Case 8. Sinabi ko nina. Case 8. Since since it has a 3 volt here, 3 uh, in the line of the direction, then, ang gagamitin natin yung base dun sa kaninang uh, ano natin, I-replay nyo na lang para makita nyo, no? Uh, this will now be point six. Sige, balikan natin. Tugan natin para sure din ako. And case 8, line of direction, U is point six. So, correct. So, anong gagamitin natin? Di ba yung mass? Malaki eh. Ito. Uh, Paano ba palitan yung kulay na ito? Sige. Uh, sandali lang ha. Let's see how do I change. Ayun. Gusto ko dilaw eh. Okay. So. Uh, okay. Ito yung sagot. 0.72. Hindi siya 0.6. Okay. So, ang gagamitin natin, o nga pala, ang given pa dapat, ang properties niya, yung area gross. Anong area gross? Uh, it's 5 point, given na yan, uh, 77 
square inch. Okay. Now, tandaan nyo, may butas to. Ano area net? Kunin muna natin area net. So, area net. Uh, Tanong natin, no? So, uh, area net is equal to area gross minus area ng hole. Ano area gross? Pakasulat ko lang. X5.77 square inch. O, oh, ito may English to, ha? So, minus. Ilan yung butas? Lead bolt. Ito yung butas ng lead bolt. Ito. Ito yung lead bolt. Yan. Ilan ang butas? Dalawa. Okay? So, dalawa yan. So, it's now... Uh, minus natin. Two pieces. Ano yung diameter ng bolt? Ayan. 5.8. 5.8. Plus, yung hole. Ngayon, uh, ang 3.2 millimeters is equivalent to 1 over 8. So, ito yung equivalent ng 3.2. Times the thickness. Given yung thickness. 1 half. So, ano ngayon yung Area net. Ang area net now is 5 point, kumpitin nyo, 0, 2, square inch. Okay, matatapos na tayo. So, ano yung area effective? Ang area effective is the shear lag times the area net. Yun. Ano yung shear lag? Ang nag-govern is 0.72 times area net na 5.02 square inch equal to ilan? Kapitin nyo it's 3.61 yan po ang ating final answer This is our final answer. Okay? Okay ba? Di ba? Uh, balikan lang natin. So, the question is, effective net area, AE. So, yung AE na yan, palitan nga natin ito ng kulay. Gawin natin red. Ayan. Okay? So, AE this one, ang nahanap. Okay, AE is reduction coefficient times the area net. So, yung AE, alamin natin yung reduction coefficient. So, titignan nyo ngayon to, no? Uh, ito, ito, tignan mo yung shape. Ano yung shape na yan? Angle bar. So, pasok siya sa case 2. Okay? Pasok siya sa case 2. Tapos, ang uh, equation is, sa case 2 is this one. It's 1 minus bar x over L. Okay, ano yung bar x? Given yan, 1.67. Yung length, ito yun. Yung length, yung haba niya na uh, center to center ng farthest distance between the bolts. So, total is 6. So, kinupit natin 0.72. At tinitan natin, pasok siya sa case 8. Ang case 8, uh, angle bar ang case 8, tapos titignan mo kung ilan yung line ng bolt. So, this case is 3. Pag 4, iba eh, ba So, 3 to, lumalabas 0. 0.6. Tapos, whichever is higher, yun yung mag-govern. So, 0. 0.72 ang gagamitin natin. Yun yung nag-govern. Tapos, again, uh, AE is equal to reduction factor area net. So, kinabit ko muna yung area net. Ano yung area net? Given din yung area gross. Area gross is 5.77 minus yung area ng hole. Anong area ng hole? Dito, titignan mo yung lead bolt. Dalawa ang lead bolt. So, dalawa minus uh, 2 times 5.8 uh, diameter plus yung hole. Ano yung hole? Ang 3.2 millimeters is roughly 1.8. So, ito rin. So, it's 1.8. So, ito ngayon yung total area ng hole. Ang thickness kasi ng ano, 1 half. So, kinumpit natin yan, it's 5.02, and 
and then lipat mo lang yung 5.0 to times 0.72, the, the final answer is 3.61. So this is your final answer. Okay, so that's it. Problem number two later. Okay, so if the tension member in the previous example is welded, kanina ano eh, uh, ito, bolted. Ngayon gagawin natin welded. Okay, ano pagkakaiba niyan? So if the tension member is in the previous example is welded, as shown in this figure, ah, uh, Ano ngayon ang kanyang uh, and then effective net area? Okay? So, ganun pa rin. Ang hinahanap is effective net area. Okay? So, required. It's AE. So, solution. Ano ngayon ang ah uh, Ang tinan nyo muna figure. So, obviously, hindi lahat ng member connected, hindi lahat ng element connected. Kasi itong angle bar na to, hindi siya connected. So, meron siyang reduction coefficient or shear lag minsan ang tawag ko na, no? U. Okay. So, in this case, uh, case 1 to 8, pasok lang siya sa isang case. Case number 2. Okay. So, using case 2, Okay, where u is equal to 1 minus bar x or L. So, bar x, ito pa rin yan. Okay, so centroid hanggang doon sa connection. So, it's 1.67. Ano pagkakaiba? Yung length. Kasi yung length niyan is this 1.5 and 1 half. Tandaan nyo, ang length na kukunin natin yung transverse, hindi yung hindi itong 6 inches na to na, ah, hindi, longitudinal, sorry, ang kunin nyo yung longitudinal weld, hindi yung transverse weld. So, since pareha sila ng weld, wala na average kasi it's the same. So, 5.55 and a half. Okay? So, ano yung U? Uh, roughly around, I think it's 0.7. Okay? So, yun na. So, hindi siya pasok sa ibang case eh. Hindi siya pasok sa case 4 and case 3. So, ano ngayon ang area net? Ano area net nyan? May nabutas ba? Wala. Di ba? Weld lang. So, area net is equal to area gross. So, area effective is U A N or A G. Di ba? So, it's 0.7 so, wala, mas madali pag-welded kasi wala ka na ibabawas na butas eh. Wala kasi siyang butas. No? Ano yung area cross kanina? It's 5.77 square inch. So, ang final answer is mas madali, no? It's 4.04 okay, square inch. So, this is our final answer. Yeah. All right. So madali lang, di ba? Ang nakakalito dito kung anong case dapat. So it takes practice lang naman eh. Walang secret ingredient dito. So yun lang, pag nakuha mo yon, ah uh, then tapos na. A36 steel, W-shape 16 by 45. So, ano yung ibig sabihin ng 16 by 45? Tinan natin yung shape dito. So, yung 16 dito, ito yun. Okay? Yan. From here, all the way here, ibig sabihin ng 16, 16 inches. Yung total depth. Yung inches. So, yung 45 naman, ang ibig sabihin ng 45, ito, yung 45 dito, it means it has a weight of 45 pounds per foot.
So, alam mo na yung ibig sabihin, alam mo na yung depth kaagad ng property at yung weight ng properties. So, yun po ang ibig sabihin ng 16 by 45. Okay? So, it's connected to a plate. Ito yung plate. Yung plate sa taas, plate sa baba. So, connected lang siya sa planche. Again, so pag ganun, obviously, hindi siya connected sa lahat ng element. So, meron siyang uh, not all net area is effective. So, kailangan natin kunin yung U. Okay? So, dito, dalawa, pasok dito. Case 2 and case uh, 7. No? So, tinan muna natin yung properties muna. Bago natin, no? So, given muna yung properties. So, hindi ko na isusulat eh. No? So, dito, properties of W16 by 45. Ano yun? Ang kailangan natin yung gross area. Ang gross area is 8,581 square millimeter. Kailangan din natin dito yung thickness ng flange. Kasi dito na siya nakakonect. So it's 14.35 thickness millimeter. What else? Yung bar X. Given din yan. 47.24 Ano pa? Yung BF. Mamaya kailangan natin yan, di ba? BF over D. So, yung width ng flange. 178 0.69 Ano pa? Total depth. Depth 16 inches. So, in metric, it's 409.7. So, halo 16 inches po yan. Okay? So, pasok siya sa case 2. So, dito tayo sa case 2 muna. Ano nga equation? It's 1 minus bar x over L U So pwede na yan Okay Ano yung bar X given 47.24 millimeters Ano yung L Halikan natin dito So yung L Ano nga uli yun? Distance from uh, end to end ng bolt, no? So, from here to here. So, 75 times 3 is equal to uh, 225 millimeters. So, ang value is 0 0.79. Ano isa? Case 7. Ganito na lang. Mas malali ito kaysa sa Roman. In 7, kailangan muna natin alamin yung BF over D, di ba? Given yung BF. 178, 169, divide by the total depth, 409.7. Ano ang ratio niyan? 0 0.44. Is it greater than 2 thirds? Less than. Kasi ang 2 thirds is uh, 0 0.67 eh. So, anong gagamitin natin? Use U equal to 0.85. Tinan nyo sa table mamaya, no? Sa lecture natin. So, anong govern? 0.79 o 0.85? Siyempre, di ba sabi nga kanina sa lecture natin? Yung mas malaki. So, eto. Oops, sorry. tayo. Oh, uh -huh. Okay. Ayaw niya. Medyo matampuhin na ata si Dilaw. Okay. Uh, one more. Subukan natin. Yun. Ito. 
can be defined. Okay? So, ano ngayon? Uh, kukunin natin yung effective area. That is here. Again. So, ano yung again? Ano nga uli again? Area net is area gross minus, eto ngayon, ay, sorry, uh, minus na area ng whole. Area gross is given 8,581 mm squared. Ilang ngayon ang butas ng whole? Okay, titingin dito. Dito kayo titingin. Yung lead bolt. Ito yung lead bolt eh. Dito. Pero pag tumingin kayo dyan, akala nyo dalawa lang. Pero apat yan. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So, apat na bolt. Ano yung diameter ng bolt? 22. So, minus 4 pieces times 22 plus 3.2 millimeters, no? Mm-hmm. Ano pa? Diameter pa lang yan. Thickness ng plunge is 14.35 given sa properties. Okay? So, yun. Ano yung area net? Kumpitin natin, no? So, wala akong value niyan. So, that is 8581 minus the quantity. 25.2 14.35 Tama ba? Sagot nyo? Area net is 7,135 Roughly, no? Ibalikan natin to. So, yun. Tapos, natapos na tayo. So, area effective is equal to point 85 times 7135. Ay, sorry. 7135. So, 0.85 times 7135. Ilan? 6,064 or 0.75. Okay. Pero ang tinatanong sa problem, babalikan nyo, ang tinatanong, ito, determine the nominal. Okay? Ito, nominal strength base. No, so, PN, based on effective net area, ha? So, yung effective net area, so, yung final, uh, 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 sorry, ito. So, PN will be uh, FU EE. So, ano yung FU? Uh, 400 megapascal times 6064.75 dapat 6064 or 6,065. So, pwede na yan. Final answer. Final answer is 2,425.9 kilonewton. Or, to be more specific, 2,426 kilo newton. Hmm, yay! Naglalo ko itong ano ah. Okay. So, yan ang final answer. I hope may natutunan kayo, no? So, that ends our lecture 4 effective net area.